Yup, they don't like it. These people here, these Sasol boys, oh Lord, man buns. God damn. Oh, I, I could, you could feel the soy running, the soybeans and soy lattes running through their veins. God damn, look at this weakness. No testosterone. God damn. Mm mm mm. God damn. God damn shame. Guys, this is a guy of shame. This is, ooh, sad. Let me see. We got a video here. Let's see. All right, let's see. Wisconsin voters react to the change at the top of the 2020. How do you feel about the process in which President Biden decided not to run for a reelection? Well, it would have been nice if he made this decision a year ago <clears throat> so we could have had a primary and you know, maybe decided who we want to replace him rather than just running uh, flocking through, to right? Kamala well, Harris. I think by trying to clear the field and ensure that it was going to be Biden and make sure that there wasn't any sort of not allow us to have an actual Democratic primary process. You know, I'm not saying I think Kamala Harris is going to lose, but I do think that we would have been benefited significantly if he had figured out what was like, figured this out far sooner. So there could have actually been more time to like um, have an internal debate, have internal democracy within the party. Well, I want to hear what y'all think of Vice President Harris as the nominee. Are you excited? I am. I am too. I own it. I'm fine with her. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like I know a lot about her. And I agree that I, I wish I wish Biden had come to this decision sooner. But um, now that we are where we are, I think that's the best option for the party. Do you feel more activated by the shift Hopeful. of candidates? Mm -hmm. I feel activated. I don't like the process either. This whole we started the conversation with like there are people behind closed doors and curtains making the decisions for us. And it's supposed to be a process. We're supposed to be part of it. So that part I don't like on principle. That being said, she's the vice president and we're late in the game. And therefore, we would have elected her into office by electing Biden. And therefore, she's, you know, there she would have been president had he went to office and something happened. God forbid. I think what she brings is fresh. Mm. Um, she was in office for four years, so she might not have the network, but she knows the network. She knows who the players are. It just gives us a chance. Like yeah. Yeah. She, she can win. I'm, I'm convinced that she has at least a 50-50 shot against <laughs> Trump. And yeah, I'd, I'd love for the Democrats to nominate AOC or Mark Pocan or someone like that, but I live in the real world, you know. So, you know, and when, and again, this election, democracy is on the line. You think Vice President Harris has a much better shot hold on, of hold defeating on. Donald Trump? I live in the real world. <laughs> democracy is on the line, but you just got shitted out of democracy decision here to selecting your primary candidate for presidency. Democracy is on the line, but you just said you don't like the process of democracy, them installing Kamara Harris, you to vote. Make it make sense. You be trust democracy and want democracy all the way through, or you're going to pick and choose what you want to be seen as democracy. Don't just say, I don't like how they're stalling Kamala Harris and not giving us the opportunity to vote for our candidacy and shit like that. But I guess it is what it is. Well, democracy's on the line. I guess I got no choice to vote for it. I live in reality in the real world. What the? What the hell are we doing here, folks? God damn. I could just, oh, uh, oh, uh, I could, my, teros, my teros, testosterone levels are low and listen to this. Every second I listen to this, my testosterone levels are low and are low and low and listen to this soy. Let's finish it up, though. God damn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I thought Joe Biden had a zero percent chance. I, had to. I mean, <laughs> I didn't want to vote for him, but I knew I needed to. Hell and now yeah. I want to vote for Kamala. And this, and she's uh, her um, arrival on the scene um, is, so is, is I think evil. is well timed because Trump's camp has strategized solely around <laughs> Biden for so long, <laughs> and this 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 cake has been thrown into their whole program. They, they have a history of flailing for a long time and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And it's going to be interesting watching how they respond to her um, appearance on the scene as, as such a viable candidate. Okay. 
So, guys, like I said, they, I don't like it, but uh, I, I wish I had a chance to we select our candidate and have a real primary, but I guess it is what it is, guys. Oh, it's okay. Well, we got to go on with this. It's, it's fine, you know. It's fine. Not an ounce of testosterone was on that stage. But that's Democratic voters. They, I don't even know anymore. You talk about democracy. You talk about fairness and all. And, they, and they're going to stall Kamala Harris. She didn't get a damn primary vote 2020 or 2024. But there's some of them going to be okay with it. Now, some of them are going to be like, hell no. I'm going to go off K or I ain't going to vote for nobody. So they got to be careful. In the day, Vice President Harris condemned the pro-Palestine fucking rally and protest yesterday, burning flags, putting graffiti all on the walls of statues and stuff. So she commend. She said, no, 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 pro-Palestine rally, rally got um, protests. She basically said, no, she condemned them. I'm like, hmm. So you know, how you going to... Are you going to keep your small hat community now, Israel? Hmm. You, you basically lost both parties, I mean, both sides, but now you want to look like a leader. I guess you want to look like she's doing something now, saying something. No, those the rallies, the protests, the destruction, the, the pepper spraying, all the fires, burning the flag. No, 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 that's not good. I'm not happy with it, so we'll see. Now, what she needs to vote is so she'll circle back and correct herself when she needs to get close to election time. She'll she she'll hope they forget about this and she'll praise them again like she did the course of summer love in 2020, bail them out and having a good old time, everything like that. 